The International Center for Agricultural Research in the Dry Areas, ICARDA, is operating in Tunisia for more than 30 years. The center is primarily working on genetic improvement of cereal and legume crops, but we are also doing a lot of research for the development to promote the livestock activity uh, in, uh, in Tunisia. The livestock activity in Tunisia is most of the time embedded into uh, cereal-based uh, systems, small cereal-based systems. So in terms of livestock uh, uh, research, we mainly focus on the best way to integrate livestock production into the overall agricultural production system. But we also try to further promote some alternative feeding strategies and enterprises to enhance livestock performances at the community level. Why feed and forages? Because here in Tunisia, so many farmers are rearing small livestock, in particular sheep and goats. And feeding costs are the major costs in animal production. They go up to two-thirds of the total production costs. So we imagine that through the introduction, development and scaling of these new technologies, we can help farmers to reduce their production costs and get better benefit. Barley is one of the most frequently used feed crops here in Tunisia. We therefore developed together with the National Research Institute, INRAT, a new barley variety called Kunus. The variety Kunus is a variety stable, which produces in the years favorable, which dépasse largement the varieties of grand cultures, which are destined for the environment euh, favorable, mais aussi elle donne un minimum de production de rendement dans les années difficiles et dans, dans, dans des environnements très difficiles comme le, le, le sud et le centre de la Tunisie. Other technologies we are working on are feed blocks and pellets. Les blocs alimentaires, c'est un mélange de différents ingrédients. L'objectif de l'utilisation de ces blocs alimentaires, c'est la valorisation des sous-produits qui sont généralement pauvres. Donc on fait les blocs pour enrichir ces sous-produits avec, avec d'autres ingrédients pour avoir un aliment qui a une valeur alimentaire euh, acceptable. L'avantage, c'est valoriser les sous-produits qui sont disponibles dans les régions. C'est un produit qui est facile à transporter, c'est un produit qui est facile à distribuer, facile à conserver. We have tested the feed blocks with farmers and got their response saying that they would actually prefer pellets rather than feed blocks because they are easier to handle and put them in smaller portions according to the need of their animals. These technologies, feed blocks and pellets, are still in the process of testing and developing. But besides this, we have other technologies like the introduction of Sula as a feed crop, rich in protein. Cactus choppers have equally been introduced through farmers to produce cactus feed in an adapted way. We don't know what is the best way so that farmers are actually adopting these technologies. Therefore, we have introduced a new project, an extension research project, which compares different extension methods and see and find out which extension method helps most in the adoption of these new technologies. In order to develop new technologies and disseminate these innovations, we have installed feed and forage innovation platforms. These are platforms, multi-stakeholder platforms, where people from different organizations come together. In collaboration with our national partners, our work on feed and forage is contributing to create a strong dynamic around the livestock value chain by further pro promoting feeding alternatives uh, which are of high quality but also affordable to small livestock producers. Mm -hmm.